Hi there, Jag here, your Office 365 daily vlogger. We've started talking about OneDrive for Business this week. And in yesterday's vlog, I spoke about three reasons why you should move your personal work files, uh, you know, from wherever they are into OneDrive for Business. Okay, if you haven't checked out that video yet, uh, please go back in the LinkedIn profile and you could, you could access the video. So in today's vlog, I wanted to cover about, you know, um, you know, the ways you can actually bring those, you know, what are the different ways you can actually uh, use to bring those uh, files, your personal work files from, from your network shares or, or your desktop PCs into OneDrive for Business. Okay, there are four ways. Okay, uh, if you, the way it depends on how you look at it. So one, use the uh, out of the box the manual approach where use the drag and drop or or the upload functionality inside the OneDrive for Business to actually upload selective files as you want into OneDrive for Business. Okay, this is like you have your files within your existing location, but just bring them in a in a in a uh, in a staggered way to as you as you access them or as you use them just you can upload them manually the advantage of this is is um, it you you actually uh, as you bring them across you could actually think about how you wanted to structure them essentially you could also clean up some of the old documents you know you could get rid of some of the special characters in the name and and whatnot okay you can actually create a clean slate uh, you could start with a clean slate and just upload the information as you need okay but don't look at this option as more uh, as, a, as a migration option itself okay it's not meant for uh, it's it's not really a migration approach it's a very manual exercise so I won't re really say it's actually a, uh, a as a migration exercise and and uh, suited for you know supporting large uh, sets of data okay so that's number one <clears throat> number two is to use the SharePoint migration tool okay the SharePoint migration tool which is a free tool available from Microsoft actually supports migrations from file shares into your SharePoint workloads, okay? Uh, Office 365 being a SharePoint workload in the back end. So you could actually move your files from file shares to OneDrive of Business using your uh, SharePoint migration tool. And this is a free tool, by the way. And the, advantage, uh, the best part of this is the admins, the system admins or your Office 365 admins can actually use this tool and migrate documents uh, from personal store, personal drive, network drives on behalf of the users as well. And you could, in the latest update, Microsoft a SharePoint migration tool supports PowerShell capabilities so you could actually automate some of the tasks too. And in the next video, I'll actually jump on a computer and actually show you, uh, we'll create a job in SharePoint migration tool and, and, and move some sample files across into OneDrive for business. Okay, stay tuned for that. So number three is is to use something called, migra uh, sorry, Microsoft Fast Track. Okay, Microsoft Fast Track program is something that Microsoft actually provides for free for you, you know, Office 365 uh, for customers with Office 365 subscriptions for more than I think 500. If you have more than 500 user licenses in Office 365, you could uh, avail the uh, the free Microsoft Fast Track program. The Fast Track program provides you with guidance. Okay, uh, it provides you with the tools, the best practices to move your files from. Uh, not just file shares uh, or, or the network shares. It, it also supports G Drive and Box.net as well. If you have, uh, if you're using Box.net as your existing uh, platform to store data, you could actually use Fast Track program. If you have more than 500 user licenses, active user licenses there, to to bring them across into into OneDrive for Business. That's Fast Track program. Okay, uh, and the next one is is number three is to use. I think it's number four. <laughs> Sorry, uh, the number four option is to use third-party tools. Okay, we won't actually get into the details of the third-party tools yet, uh, but option number four is to use third-party tools to do the migrations. This is some. There are some premium tools out there which provides you with much better capability than SharePoint migration tool. Okay, um, or also you could use uh, as part of this fourth type of migration service, you could use. Uh, you could engage Microsoft partners such as Konico Minolta or the others to actually move your files on your behalf. Okay, they could actually create a migration plan and and work with you to actually bring those files without with with, with very minimal disruption. So what we looked at in this video is is there's four ways to bring your files from 
uh, from wherever they are into OneDrive for Business One. Use the out of the box manual approach. That's it's not really a migration, but it does the job a bit. You could the advantages is you can clean the house. Uh, you could start with a clean slate and and bring the files across. Two, use the SharePoint migration tool, which is a free tool. Third is Microsoft Fast Track program. Get uh, if you have more than 500 users, get in touch with Microsoft Power Fast Track, and they'll help you move the files across. Okay. Uh, number four is to use third party tools. Uh, there's you have to pay some premium for that but you know it'll make your job much easier uh, or use third-party service like you know so services from your man from your microsoft partners thanks a lot uh and uh, stay tuned for the next video where i'll actually use uh shape on migration tool and move the files uh, across into one driver business thanks for watching and stay tuned if you haven't connected with me on linkedin yet i highly encourage you to connect or follow me on linkedin thank you